Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are now on the 8th assignment and we're on the map of Valencia. Yes, that's right. This map it holds spe special significance to me because in my first original Caesar 3 playthrough this is where I perfected the flower design. But today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing grid blocks. And as usual, this map should take three parts in terms of YouTube videos. And the first part's going to be mainly setting up, part two is going to be establishing, and part three is going to be maximizing and refining. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the introduction and see what this map is all about. For many generations, we have recognized Toletum as the capital of Hispania. As part of my consolidation of the Western provinces, I command that a new capital be built on the coast where it may be more tightly integrated with the rest of the empire. Toletum has long struck me as too independent. To leave no questions in citizens' minds about which city is Hispania's true capital, Build Valencia into a major city, unsurpassed in culture, prosperity, and peace. I grant you a huge, rich province in which to accomplish this. The peace requirements might give you some minor difficulty. Rome subjugated the Etruscans in Italia ages ago, but some seem to have emigrated to Hispania. At least some barbarians calling themselves Etruscans have been active in the area. If you take the usual defensive precautions, there'll be no more than a distraction. All right, well, there we go. We're here on Valencia, civilized Hispania. And this map is the first one with 10,000 population, super high ratings of 65, 60, 70, 60. But let's go to the city and see what this one's all about. Now, I always love getting the music going straight away. There we go. I don't want to wait for it. Don't want to wait for the music. Get it playing. Ah, Valencia, Valencia, this map. Ah, uh, in the original playthrough I did the whole flower pattern over here, but today we're gonna be doing grid design, which is sort of like what I did with the realistic city design, but it might actually be a bit easier. But I can't believe I did animal blocks before a grid design. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I, I just keep throwing challenges my way. <laughs> mm. Anyway, welcome to the stream, everyone, and uh, yeah, let's 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 see what we're doing here. So if I recall the entrance of the map is here and uh, What are our main exports again? Pottery is it? Oil, but oh, we could this is okay. That should be a land trade route and Wine pottery oil wine. Can we produce those things? I can't remember really uh, olives vines. so Yes, pottery do we have raw materials clay pit? Yes, okay, so last time I played this map, I focused on the farmland. So this time, I think I might want to try focus on the fishing. You know, go, go a bit more coastal and have the grid design just sort of cut through all of this. Might be cool, might be cool. Also, if we start by the coast, it'll be easy to get the pottery industry going as well. So, how do I want to do this? So I need to get past the immigration glitch first. Let me just confirm that we are on very hard. Fantastic. So the immigration glitch means we will struggle to get things started. Uh, but I think I could take advantage of all of this terrain, right? I think, yeah. If I just sort of like block this off, block that off, they'll have to walk up this hill around this side. I could block that off, make a hole right there. And that should take them... <laughs> Actually, this map is huge! This map is huge! Gustaus just subscribed for three months in a row. Thank you so much, Gustaus. Your little snake icon in chat is gonna have a little notch now. Okay, so I think I want to start over on this side. L nice, long, flat coast. I don't think invasions will come along anywhere close to here. Some nice fishing spots all along the coast. Very good. Alright, so this is where I want to start this time. I want it to be different from last time. There we go. So, here, here, right where the sheeps are, I think. So I'm just gonna clear all of this off. Make some nice space right here. This is where we're gonna start our block. And so we're gonna have to prep for some room for fishing. Actually, I don't wanna, uh, how do I wanna do this? I'm going for a grid block design, so it should look like grids. 
right? So if I do this... So this can be a slight industrial area. Okay, so we're just gonna be grids and straight lines and squares and rectangles, nothing else. Squares and rectangles. Uh, I'll probably need some... This is great for the... Uh, yeah, okay. For clay pits... Is there some give? There is some give, okay. So... Then... I'll need the residential area to sort of extend out this way. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's probably too much. I think I'm gonna go for a six, right? And it would make more sense. Accommodating that is actually rather tricky. You know what? I'm just gonna clean that up like that. Right? That, that just looks better. It's easier to manage. So I'm gonna go for six, and then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just have a standard twelve block there. So that will allow us to have some houses going. How many do we need? Five, I think, to get twenty, 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 twenty. So that should be fine for that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We can have another block here. So I'm going very SimCity with this. <laughs> uh, SimCity building nice square blocks. This should look like a pretty realistic city, by the way. Five, I think. We need to get our population to almost... Uh, almost... Um should cover everything. Almost 200. And I think that should fit 200, right? Where do people move in from? It is up here, right? Yes, there, okay. So now we just wait for those guys to move in. Meanwhile, we're gonna prep our well maze. So I'm gonna need to block this off for sure. Block there, and then... So that's all blocked. So I just need to block here, right? And that should force them to walk all the way around. And to make sure we actually have enough time to do everything properly, we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna make a slight cut through the forest there. Right? So to test, I just have to drag a road from one side to the next. Ah, I can't quite test it yet, but I will test it soon. Once these guys move in. All right, so while they're on the way, we're gonna need quite a few prefectures and engineers posts to make sure nothing ever burns down, right? So prefecture, prefecture, prefecture. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Prefecture, that should do. And then engineers posts, one, two, three, four. That should cover that. That should, right? Aries106 says, what's the point of making them walk around? There's a glitch, there's a glitch on very hard only, where once you cross 200 people, happiness tanks, and basically people stop moving and they start moving out. So it becomes impossible to cross that until you hit 300 people, and then people become happy again. Hmm. Ghostly presence, oh, C3 stream, nice. Glad you're enjoying it. Today we're doing grid blocks. And actually, I really shouldn't have the prefectures there. Because I'm gonna be extending the roads out. Like that. Okay, so we're gonna let these guys move in. And just to make sure... How do I wanna do this? I'll, I'll, I'll wait for them to move in first. Let's get them all moving in. And let's set... Uh, Prefectures to one, engineering to two. Actually, water should be one. Just to make sure everything is going A-OK. -okay. Let's make sure these houses evolve appropriately. Just throw a couple gardens down, I think. Not there. So that's gonna bring our population up to 50 or so. Come on, evolve. 
I should be using plazas. These small tents are just... Oh, there's no water! <laughs> uh, right. We're gonna need to do that. There we go, there we go, okay. That should evolve those, so now they're all moving in the second set here. To bring our population up, and then once these guys cross this threshold, we establish the well maze. Hmm. So this... How much is 6? 6, 12, 18, 24? 24... No, it's 28 per house. I can't remember the math. I can't remember the math. <laughs> Aren't you kind of blocking space for two wolves? Yeah, but... We gotta stick to the, the block rules, right? We gotta stick to the block rules. So I'm letting these guys come in first, so we can actually get some things running. You know what? I'm gonna put down a temple to Mars straight away. Here. Here. I'm gonna try and make this city look sensible. So I'm gonna put a temple to Mars, and I'm gonna throw a festival for Mars straight away to get that blessing. So if we do get invaded, It'll be A-OK. -okay. I always forget to do that straight at the start. Think four engineers post is too much? Two is enough? It is not too much, I can guarantee it. Now let's slow the game down. Now if I drag a road from here to here, it can get through. Okay, fantastic. Let's undo that. So that means there is a path through. Just to test again. Yep, there is a path through. Undo that. So now we can boost up our population. And I'm just going to do, fill up these housing like that. And then just, just fill it up all that way. And then I guess we'll need one more block here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just boost our population up to what it needs to be. Yeah, I can guarantee you two is not enough. Even for, for what I had just now, it's not enough. <laughs> not even close. Okay, we're gonna do this, do that. We can now get some reservoirs. Right there, I think. Okay, I'll need a reservoir on this side as well. Let's clear some space. Right there. I'll put it there. Leave some room. Uh, we got plenty of room to fish from down there, so that's okay. So now all of this is moving in. Also, you can see tents, not the best or safest things. So I'm gonna put down another prefecture and engineer's post here. Tents burn down very easily. So now a bunch more people should start moving in. Fantastic. We're gonna wait for all of these people to move in. Do we... We should get enough people to get things running. We gotta prioritize that as well. Once these people move in, we should be able to support the current things. Oh, those houses devolved. That's not good. Um, medium statue. Get back up there. Yes? No? Yes? Desirability? Temple to Venus. Just get that going. Perhaps I should... Maybe this is too many prefectures. As in, I can't quite support it, so I think I'll get rid of this first. We gotta prioritize this as three. There we go. Okay. So now, these immigrants should be... Yeah, they're going around the long way. Fantastic. Perfect. Exactly what we need to happen. Um, we could have more housing go on the edge like this. There we go. I have never built a city like this. <laughs> then again, through this whole playthrough, I've done some crazy things. Huh? The snake block. 
from the animal blocks, the luxury llamas. Oh, the the animal blocks is actually crazy. <laughs> uh, will gatehouses be used as roadblocks in this? No, there's no point putting gatehouses. It just messes everything up. All right, so these just take two people each, right? Yeah. So the others are indifferent. Okay, so this is at 100 people. I should have put down more houses. Oh, these didn't quite fill up properly. I see. That's okay. Considering this well maze is so long, it should be fine. It should be fine. So I'm not going to put down fountains yet because that's going to take employees. So we're going to focus on a water trade route for pottery first, I think. That's going to cost 800. Okay. Doc can quite easily go here. Have pottery industry there, fishing wharves, yeah, it, it can work out, it can work out. Yeah, the dock will have to go there. Let's make sure nothing's burning down. There's our festival for Mars. Okay, and I think... Yeah, see, I'm, I'm really worried about... <laughs> Uh, things burning down. I think we can speed things along while waiting for these guys to move in, right? I think I put down enough houses to cross... Which way they're coming? This way? Distant battle? Okay. Do we have a... Mars is exalted. Okay, but here comes the first immigrants. Blessing from Mars, yes! And now they start moving in, and as they start moving in, we can now start our industries. So how do I want to do this? If I have... Let's see, I, I need a road to go down that way, so... I will need a granary, right? Yeah, I need a granary. So if I do this, that would make sense. So the road will extend like that and come down this way. And there will be a dock here. And then this will be for fishing wharves. We'll get rid of this road. And I'll have the warehouse for pottery right here. Right? Yeah. It would look better there. Warehouse for pottery there. Raw materials will get the industry started. So, clay pit. And... Oh, it can actually be quite far away. Workshop. Pottery. Okay, there we go. And I can also put that prefecture back, which was there. Okay. And we're going to need... I'm going to need a house here. Right there. Okay. So that this road here does have access to... Everything. Okay. And that's going to go up until there. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. I like it. Doctors. Ooh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sajuk reminding me of doctors. Doctors are pretty efficient, so I'm just going to put a doctor right... Like, maybe one doctor somewhere in the middle at this intersection. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put down one doctor to get things going. Okay, so now people are going to start moving in. We're going to be short on a lot of employees, but that's fine. That's fine. I should also put down the rest of the temples. We've got Mars and Venus, Ceres. Where can we put Ceres? I guess I could put Ceres here. Ceres. Neptune. I'm trying to make it look nice as well. 
It's not just about efficiency, it's about looks. <laughs> uh... No, I don't want to put it there. I guess Neptune can go right here. But again, I kind of want... I, I think I'll need an oracle right there. So Neptune can go right there. And Mercury... I'm just going to put on the other end here. Yeah, that's fine. So there's a bit of symmetry with that. Neptune's over there. Ah, Neptune. That is not a good place for Neptune, but I'm going to just leave it there for now until I get, start getting money. <laughs> okay. So pottery... Yeah, we gotta get these houses moved in. Fountain. We're gonna need to get... What's the reach of the water here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here. And... We could do that. We can do that. And that will remove the need of... These wells. Okay. So that's a good start. We can start some wells just on the back here because we can. Just like that. Okay. So, we're across 200 people. You can see that people disgruntled. And also, just to make sure we recover quickly, I'm going to boost up my pay and drop our taxes. Okay, so you can see that people are annoyed with you and it's because we're on very hard and crossed 200 people. But look at all these immigrants coming in. That should be enough. Oh, there's a bunch more back here. Oh, fantastic. Okay, good. So that should be enough immigrants on the map to get us up to 300 people. There we go. See that? Ah. That is the immigration glitch. Right there. All right, but let's just speed things up until people move in, yeah? And the, the, the difficult part is they start moving out while they do this as well, so hopefully this batch of immigrants here, come on, this must be enough, right? There's plenty of room for people. It's touching 300? Yes, it crossed 300. Whew, it was closer than I thought it was. <laughs> There we go, we're over 300, so now we just wait. Unemployment of 6%, okay, people are still annoyed with you. But with that unemployment, I'm just gonna boost up. Uh, let's see. Clay pit, clay pit, clay pit. This here is just gonna be accepting pottery and nothing else. And we're gonna go pottery workshops. Workshop, workshop. How should I actually do this? I mean, workshops along here would be nice, but we'll have to mitigate... ...desirability. I could just put them over here. That's actually fine. Workshop, pottery. So that's, uh... Oh, we will need a house down this side, I just realized. Because these guys can walk that way. Alright. Have a house down. Okay. So, since we've crossed 300 people, we need to break the well maze. There we go. Those guys are gonna go the long way, but the rest should be okay. More people are moving in, people are indifferent to you, so we can now drop our pay back to 30 and raise our taxes back up to six for now, I guess. There we go. Employees needed. How many employees? 38. Oh, I might have overbuilt a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of one clay pit. So three clay pits to six workshops. Pottery will start coming in and shop by 48 employees, which is currently in industry and commerce. Okay. But there's plenty of room for more people to move in. We just have to wait until they do. There we go. There we go. Immigration glitch. Overcome. In case you don't know about it, that's how you overcome it. 
Alternatively, you can drop the difficulty to hard until you reach 300 people. But uh, you thought that was my power level? 300? That, that's like a really weak power level, right? <laughs> that's like start of Dragon Ball power level. Right, and just for the OCD. <laughs> We're gonna rebuild that road. All right, so anything burning down? Jeez, that is not that is not as safe as I want it to be. Well, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. One of our clay pits. This is a scripted event, so I'm not going to be too concerned because damage. Yeah, it's not a damage problem. Raw materials, clay pit. Get that back. City needs more workers. Don't worry, they're on the way. There they are. Look at that. These guys still moving out. A day longer in that tent and it would have exploded. There's no voice line for that? They didn't record a voice line for that. Greetings. I'm new to this place. Do you know anywhere to live? Can any of the islands in the sea be reached? That's an interesting question. Yeah. There's no limit to ship bridge range. I mean, we could... I mean, is there any reason to go over there? We don't have any... Yeah, we, we have no reason to go over to the islands. You could, but... Uh... You probably shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, just placing the ship bridge to cross over, let's say the shortest point, it would cost 2,000. Definitely not worth it. All right, pottery is starting to come in. Fantastic. Employees starting to move in. Short by 18. All right, let's get that dock down. We're going to need these houses to move in. Enemies closing? Okay, it's been a year, has it? Okay, we do have a blessing from Mars, but we're gonna need to get some javelins at least. There we go. So we're gonna start having a source of income. Those houses moving in, fantastic. Damage, okay. What's the hotkey for checking disease? Water? 500 people. Oh, that's fantastic. We've got unemployment. So we could start... How much is it to put down more? 40? The clay pit should probably be over here, right? three workshops like that. Well, we've got one denarii, so we might as well open that trade route, right? It's a water trade route here. 800 to open trade route, sure thing. Uh, let's export as much as possible. Now, do we get any money? Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. Okay, we got like, not that much, but an okay amount. We'll keep the pottery coming. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, we can put oracles between this to sort of boost up desirability. All right, and that should shot by 20 employees, more people moving in, not a problem. Here comes the first sale of pottery, and that starts generating some income. Fantastic, look at that, back up to a thousand. Now, we can start doing wharfs. And we need a shipyard. Right at the edge there. We can give you a well.
All right, so now we're short by 23 employees. More coming in, fantastic. So this looks like a pretty realistic city, isn't it? <laughs> Selly Cakes, Kate, Selly Kate says we're waiting for grand palaces. The, can you get max level housing on this? Can we import wine? We can, we, we can get luxury palaces on this. So part three of the YouTube video, part three of this mission, we will have luxury palaces. Don't worry, if we got luxury palaces on Carthago, we can get luxury palaces here. So the, besides, that, that will really help for the prosperity rating. 65 needed. All right, looks like most of our pottery workshops are functioning. Some a little left behind, but it's okay, it's okay. Some first bit of fishing is coming through, so let's set this to accepting meat. Is anything burning down? That is not looking appropriate. <laughs> that is not looking safe. Come on, someone walk this way. Damage is fine. It's fires that are the risk here. This, this is why this is always such a, such a risk. Can someone walk down this road? Okay. It's always such a risk doing things like this. Okay, I think two extra prefectures covers things nicely. Okay. There we go. We should start selling some decent amount of pottery here. Fantastic. Let's go to Military Academy. I'm gonna pop this down right now. Right there, I think. Yeah. One of the clay pits, that's fine. That's a scripted event. Military Academy. And barracks. Let's replace that clay pit. I could put a clay pit there, I guess. So I change this to a workshop. There we go. These two workshops seem to not get as much business, so I'm not sure if we should continue having those there. Perhaps I, if I put a clay pit on this side, it would work. But there we go, we're making some money. How much is a javelin fort? A thousand? Okay. Now where do we put our javelin fort? It needs to be somewhat centralized because invasions should come from like here or over there on the left. Somewhere by this lake. Somewhere here. I think here. Nice central bit to the left side of the map. All of this is forested. So yeah, invasions will come from the left or from here. This is all forested, right? Yes, okay. So just on the west of this lake, there's a little gap there for us to run our troops through right here, I think. Should be good. Yeah, right here. Okay, we'll start getting some military going. How's our employment? 5% unemployment? Okay, okay. Uh, we could probably just keep boosting up our fishing walls. Oh, I spent it all. Let's undo one. <laughs> there we go. And that should deal with unemployment. We'll, we'll probably go into debt next month, but food's coming in, which is good. How much pottery are we selling? We'll max that out quite easily. So we need to find the next source of income. Oh, they, s they buy fish. How interesting that they buy fish. We could totally sell that. Could totally sell that. Don't worry, don't worry. Um... Hmm. Neptune, go sit right there. Hmm. 
Now the clay pit suffering a terrible flood. So this is gonna start accepting fish. And we could sell it. We could sell it. Overproduce fish, sell it. Now which clay pit suffered a terrible flood? This one? That probably shouldn't be there. Engineer's post. Move the clay pit over. And we could fit another one. Fantastic. There we go, we've made our money back. Fish should start stockpiling into the warehouse relatively soon. What's our employment like? 9% unemployment? Jeez, let's uh, max out fishing wharves then. There we go. So we can start maxing our fish sales, which is just 15 units a year. It's just 15 units a year, so it's not nothing major, nothing major, but you know. Ah. All right, how's our military doing? It's building up. They are academy trained, right? Yes, they are. This is a very compact block, at least. We're almost at a thousand people just from this. That's that's. We're gonna be invaded soon, though. Enemies at the door. It is October. Have we maxed our sales? We can sell just a bit more, but fish is coming into the warehouse now, so we could sell that. Fantastic. Most of our fishing wharves don't have boats yet, so that's why things are a little slow. There we go, and we should start super oversupplying pottery very soon. And I would want to put down markets, but... I need money to provide more industries for them to work at. <laughs> We're gonna hit a thousand people very soon, which means the gods are indifferent. Okay, okay. But the granary is full, so we sold. Okay. I'm gonna wait until next year. So that we actually sell some proper pottery. There we go, hit a thousand people. It's January. There we go. Now now we're, we're gonna make some money. I can drop markets. Uh, let's move this engineer's post to here. And we're gonna need market. Market. How do I wanna position these markets? What's uh, employment like? 3% unemployment. It'll be better for the markets to be near the granary and pottery. So... Three markets? I don't know if three markets will cover it. I mean, if I put a market there, it'll be too far. We'll see how this works. Th oh, oh, we'll go with three markets for now, yeah? Because we've stocked up on fish, jeez. All the fishing wharves are now going, so this should be no problem to feed people. Uh, what else do these guys need? Um, I think that should be fine for now. Okay, so... With all those people moving in, we're gonna need to give them jobs. No employment problems right now, so there we go. Houses are evolving. Yeah, desirability is gonna be a bit of a problem. There's no water supply there. I guess we could put a fountain here. Eh? Not like that house will ever really evolve that much, but... Employees needed, yep, yeah, there we go. These are evolving large shacks. Desirability is still a problem. Money's come in, okay, so let's go ahead and put down what I want. Let's tax them. Forum, forum. Uh, we're also gonna need bathhouses. Bathhouse. Bathhouse. 
what else do we need? Theatres. Let's go... Theatre. Theatre. And actor colony on this side. That should get those houses evolved. We can now also... We, we need to get a reservoir on this side, don't we? Like right here. Distant battle, that's okay. So I'm gonna clear off some of these trees. So I can get a reservoir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right there. Is this aligned with the block? Close enough. We're gonna need... Aqueduct to go through there. It's here. Let's break that open. Okay, okay. So this is going along quite nicely, actually. This has to cut through there. And that has to cut through like this. Looks very nice. I, I actually like the aesthetic of aqueducts cutting through the forest. Look at that. That actually looks fantastic. I love it. Uh, anyway, that allows us to put down fountains. One, two, three, four. Here. Oh. Ten furniture. Right. That's what we need to, to go. Ten furniture. Let's slow things down while we look. What's our range on this? I guess I go here. That should cover things. Fountain. That. Okay, which allows us to get rid of the wells. So everything's now covered by fountain coverage, which is very good. Okay, good. So, forestry industry. Hmm. Who, can we sell furniture? No, okay. It needs to be near here. Where should I set it up? Where should I set it up? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I just extend this block around the back? Yeah, that's probably the best. One, two, three, four. So I have this extend like that. Clear two tiles off the road. Have a warehouse. Right there. For furniture. Just in case it gets distributed, we'll stockpile it. And have workshop furniture. And raw material, timber yard. Get that going. City needs more workers. 38. Oh, more, more should be moving in. There we go. Alright, so now... Can I afford to do this? It's a little extreme. But I'm gonna do it. Let's plaza it up. Bam. There we go. We don't, actually didn't get this road down here. That's fine. Cost another 330. Plaza it up. Plaza it up. For those of you who can, you can use the Zack Plaza emotes in chat. <laughs> there we go. Plaza it up. The residential block that evolves these. They need schools. So let's go ahead and put down schools. One school there. One school... Ah, oh, it's a little tricky to... 
get these going. School children ran all over the place, so it's kind of weird to use. School there. School here. Get those going. Fantastic. How are our exports maxing out? Our exports did max out. Fantastic. Uh, so it gives us a decent amount of money to work with. But we actually have one full fort of javelins. Okay. Should probably get a second one, yeah? There we go. Now I see the plazas in chat. Exactly. Ah, looking good. Looking good. This is going so much faster than the animal blocks, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe because the animal blocks are a bit crazy. Mm. By the way, just a reminder for all of you watching right now, if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually get a free Twitch sub. And the confusing thing is your, your Amazon Prime Twitch sub resets, to, it unsubs you at the end of every month. Well, at the end of your month subscription. So you have to resub manually, which is kind of a pain, but there's no auto auto resub option for for Twitch Prime. But if you guys have Amazon Prime and you're not subscribed to anyone on Twitch, if you link your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime, well, to Twitch, you get a free sub every month. Isn't that amazing? Uh, let's garden up the back here. I just have to throw those reminders out once in a while, you know? <laughs> because it's very confusing. It's very confusing. Anyway, here's our first invasion. Alright, we should be able to deal with them. We can deal with that too. Where are they coming from? That side? Okay, fantastic. Let's grab you guys. Put you right there. Is everything evolving okay? Not received any food. Right, we do need a market over this side, don't we? We'll put another market. Okay. So it looks like a small enough invasion. The blessing from Mars will actually be able to, to deal with them all. But let's see if we can... There we go. There we go. They're dead. They're dead. Not a problem. You return to fort. Okay. Let's get these evolving. What do they need? Entertainment. Okay, if the, it's entertainment they want, it's entertainment they can have. I'll need an amphitheater. I probably have too many houses, right? What's our employment like? 7%? Yeah. Let's kill those guys. And we're just going to put an amphitheater right there. Yeah, we need more markets because they're not... There's food in the markets, but they're not walking down that way. Come on, market lady. Someone walk down there. <laughs> they really don't want to go down there. Well, that's fine. No, they should get fed eventually. Mayowaki just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> he says, fine, take it. He's like, all right, take the sub. Not gonna like it, but you can have it anyway. <laughs> Mayowaki, thank you so much. There we go. Feeding this row of houses again. Fantastic. We've got some money in. Let's go drop that amphitheater. We're gonna need a gladiator school. I forgot. I forgot about the gods. Okay, who, who's... okay. Everyone's just pissed off. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we need some, some space. Uh, <laughs> um, how do I want to do this?
guess I just extend this road out. Recent construction work blocked. Really? But what I hate is when that happens, the aqueduct gets ruined. There we go. We'll, we'll go back into debt. Did it actually block the way out? It did. Alright, we gotta make sure there's actual space here. Look at all of our boats in the water, jeez. Uh, okay, you go there. This, we're gonna have a row of temples. Series. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. And Venus. And we're gonna need a uh, prefecture. An engineer's post. To make sure nothing burns down. And for later on symmetry, I probably want to shift the reservoir one over. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay. okay. That should keep the gods happy. We need oracles. Uh, we don't have any marble. We're gonna have to import marble. Who sells marble? There. Tingis sells marble. It's a water trade route, but we don't have money, so that's a problem. Gladiator school. Let's put that back. Let's make sure there is always a gap out that side. <laughs> forgot the gods, forgot the gods, but... Hmm. Is this still the campaign or just city building? Cake rinse? This is the campaign. This is Valencia. Famous man. Not enough entertainment, yeah. Inspired by Mars. Ah. Let's hope we can take them. If we kite them, we might be able to, to save some losses, yeah? So we got cursed by Neptune and by Mars. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but... Uh, <laughs> I hope our food supply is holding out because we lost all the boats. It's holding out for now. Boats will be coming back. Let's deal with this invasion. Start shooting them, please. Let's slow the game down. They're too fast to kite, these guys. It's okay, we're just gonna fight you here. Shoot them. There we go. Come on. There we go, there we go. Mars's native soldiers dealt with. So they're all going back up to indifferent or displeased, that's fantastic. No more curses should be coming along, which is great. Did we just... what are we killing? Oh, <laughs> she's killed a couple sheep. Uh, sorry about that. But okay. It's May now. Are more trade... is more trade coming in? Yes, more trade is coming in. We just gotta wait for the trade boat so we get money back. I think I have to set this to getting food, yeah? Can, can you put some food back in the granary? While we wait for our fishing boats to come back. We've only got three fishing boats, that's crazy. That's crazy. Have I finished the one with the animal blocks, Dimjaro? Yes, uh, we, Jim, Dimjardo rather. Uh, the animal blocks is complete. And we're just struggling to keep these rows fed. I think I'm gonna need, like, another market right there. Where's the trade boats? Come on, come buy stuff. Four fishing boats? Okay. Oh, did the storm... Oh, Neptune's storm took out the trade boat as well. That's why. That's why. Don't forget the furniture request. Do we have enough? We do. Dispatch. Fantastic. How is our employment, by the way? 17%? Jeez, um, I think I just get rid of houses, right? Like, if we're struggling to feed people, just, just get rid of houses. Make room for some services as well. 13%, that's not good. 
clay pit suffered a terrible flood again. Okay, a trade boat did come by, which is good. It looks like these two workshops really don't get much work. So I'm just going to get rid of those and put... A pottery workshop right there. Okay. I can't wait to do some trade here. I love a good deal. Okay, so we've run out of food as we're waiting for the fishing... Uh... <laughs> Fishing a uh, wharf to, to make, well, well, make more boats. All right, please buy some. Okay, reset the debt anniversary. Fantastic. That's looking good. 21% unemployment. Um, uh, raw materials. Timber yard. Workshops. Furniture. Okay. That should help deal with things a little bit. Um, Rome thanks you for your recent dispatch. Fantastic. What did these guys need? These guys need furniture, right? No health provisions. Health. Clinic. Hmm. We do need another clinic, I think. Doctor here. That should pretty much cover everything, right? What is... Is there a hotkey for disease? Crime? Damage, fire... Problems... No, there is no hotkey for... For disease, unfortunately. Alright, we, we gotta get our food supply going. <laughs> Set up a wine or oil industry? Yeah, I probably should. These are... that's a land trade route, right? This is a land trade route, I assume. They will buy oil. They buy wine, but we're gonna have to... we're gonna have to... I'll focus on oil, I think, because eventually we need to import wine and not export it. So I'm gonna clear off some space here. And we're gonna have another block here. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should cover everything. Let's have some houses. Prefecture. Engineers post. Warehouse. Don't worry. Warehouse. And... put it here. So this is going to be holding any extra olives. This is going to be holding any extra, well, holding our oil. What's our 17%? Yeah. And let's just put a well down there and let's get the, oh, 2,000 people, 2,000 people. Ah, would you look at that. Let's get the farms going. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks crazy, but we're gonna do it. Workshops. Oil. Um. One, two, three. A little gap there for the traders to come in. four, five, six, and we can export olives as well. So, I can't set that to exporting yet. Okay, 
Now we just wait for all of that to start working. Fantastic. That should deal with unemployment. Let's let that run. Very compact design, isn't it? 6%. Really? It's still 6, 5%? Okay, let's just let it run. All right, olives are good for desirability, so this road's actually getting a bit stoned up. Ah. Do you want to make a fan-made map challenge after you finish the Season 3 campaign? Yeah, actually, I, I, that's something I'm considering. Once I finish the campaign, this, where did all that money come from? Once I finish the campaign again, uh, I'm thinking of asking you guys to design maps, and I give it a shot. I give it a shot. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be cool, right? Because I, I'm, I'm trying to focus a bit more on making this a bit more interactive with the community. So, you know, that's why I'm taking suggestions for block design. Someone suggested to me on YouTube uh, that I should do a grid block. Look how much it looks like a, an actual city on, on the map. It, it, really, it really does work. Anyway, um, I'm going to do something I know Sajuke hates, which is put down gardens. <laughs> um... Let me, since we have unemployment, let me put decorative fountains first. Now, this is one, two, three away from there, so it should be fine if I do this. One, two, three, four, one, two, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get the fountains here. One, two, three. Oh no, it's supposed to be there, rather. Let's do that. So it's not actually supposed... yeah. Fountains here and here. Here and here. That should be good. Right? Let's get those working. Let's move that. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna put some statues because I know Sajuk likes them. <laughs> Statue, 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 statue. What's there? Oh, the amphitheater. Right, of course. Um, perhaps I don't want the amphitheater there, yeah? Entertainment, amphitheater, just stick it right there. I probably need another one, right? These are not getting amphitheater access yet. I think I moved the school. Alright, let's just put the fountain down first. Medium statue. Uh, gardens are gonna sit like that. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. I'm gonna do that. There we go. Nice and symmetrical. Uh, let's replace that with the school instead. I probably need, like, a school there and not here so that I can put an amphitheater here. That should work. Yes, yes, that looks good. Food is starting to come back in, but do we? Are the markets filled with food? Is this a walker issue? No, some, some markets don't have food. Okay. I probably just need another market on the left side here, right? Have yourselves a market right in the middle, that's fine. That's fine. Now, how are the gods displeased? Okay, I guess we now mirror this. Uh, Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars. This is the pathway of the gods. It's a pathway of the gods. This might lead into the next area of blocks. We'll, we'll see what happens. And there we go. So meanwhile, all of this is going along quite nicely. Um, I think I'm overproducing olives from this, I'm not too sure. How much can we sell in terms of olives? All right, an invasion is on the way. You know what, I'm just gonna go straight into debt right now with another javelin fort. That's fine. Uh, we'll let this run. I think that still produces... I think that still produces enough olives. Uh, Let's open this trade route. Pay to open that. Yes, uh, olives. We're going to export any extra. Oil, we're going to export any extra. There we go. We have... Oh, we do already have five units. Some's hiding behind the workshop. I didn't see it. All right. And extra olives should go into there. Fantastic. Good, good, good. It's looking good. It's looking good. 
Ah, oh, this is so different from my last Valencia playthrough. Look at that. Look at this. It's so different. Ah, oh, but... I think that is... Trade more fruits? Okay. That's a good place to bring part one to a close, because that's... Uh, we've established our city. We've actually fed them quite nicely. And they could actually evolve further if we just provide them the furniture, which we actually have... <laughs> we've already maxed out on that, which is good. Looks like our fishing boats are all back to fully functional, so we're gonna be feeding these people as best as we can. And we've started our oil industry, so once we start selling this bit of oil, let me just get some oil going. Get back in the white there, fantastic. And we can also sell some of these olives, the surplus olives. Oh, wonderful. So we can actually sell 25, 25, yeah. All right, so that's gonna be the end of part one for Valencia. All right, so that's gonna be the end of part one for Valencia. We're going ahead with our block design, just a grid design rather, and it's going very, very well. So much better and so much easier than the animal blocks. Maybe not quite as innovative or interesting or experimental, but it's a grid design and I haven't done that before. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to go ahead to part two and also check out the rest of the Caesar 3 playlist which is linked down below. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video.